Hello, hello. How the heck's it going, everyone? Thanks for joining me for another nail product comparison video. On today's agenda, we're gonna get down and dirty with some rhinestone bling crystal diamond jewel stone gels. Don't ask why all those words just mean sparkly rock. There are bigger problems to address in the English language, like why does the word Q have so many letters in it? And why does baloney rhyme with pony? Focus, Jen, focus. The four brands I'll be comparing today are Apre, McCart, Kiara Sky, and Daily Charm. These four gels will be ranked in four categories. One, value. Of course, which one gets you the most bang for your buck? Category two is viscosity. When you're applying the gems, do they run all around the nail so you're constantly chasing them to keep them in the same spot? Or is it thick enough that it holds them in place while you're working? Category three is how easy is it to apply? Does it have a nice applicator and packaging? Or do they throw you out to sea without a life raft? Category four is wear time and durability. I wore all four of these gels for a week to see if I lost any rhinestones with any of them. First, I wanna quickly go over on how to apply rhinestone gels because maybe the fact of the matter is it's not what gel you're using, but how you're using it. If you were with someone that only cared about your bottom, you'd think that's pretty shallow, right? Well, rhinestones are just like you and I, you know. They too want to be loved and held in a warm embrace. And if they're not getting that in their relationship, good on them for jumping ship. I wouldn't stick around either. So when you're applying your rhinestones, make them feel loved and respected by making sure the gel completely surrounds the edge of them and not just their bottom. Without further ado, let's get to testing. I'm pretty certain that none of us like to spend more for the same thing, so let's break down the cost of these first. The cheapest and most accessible option is McCart. It can be found on Amazon for only $10 US and $15 Canadian, and comes in a honking 30 gram tube. Kiara Sky comes in a 15 milliliter bottle that you can get on their website for $13 US or $18 Canadian. Appraise Diamond Gel comes in a 15 milliliter pot and sells on their website for $17 US or $22 Canadian. Finally, our most expensive option is the Daily Charm Jewelry Gel in a Tube. The 5ml tube sells on their website for 20 US or 26 Canadian. That's right, that is 6 times smaller than the McCart one. I'll be showing off the next two categories together, so let's talk about their viscosity and their applicator. The McCart one comes in a tube with a fine tipped applicator that makes it super easy to place exactly where you need it to be. As you can see in this next clip, it has a medium viscosity. It is not super thick, it does have a little bit of runniness to it, but it definitely isn't too thin. Appraise Diamond Gel doesn't really have any sort of applicator. I usually just apply it with a dotting tool because it's easier to wipe off than a brush, but it is also a medium viscosity. It does feel really similar to the McCart one. Kiara Skies has a really nice clear brush on applicator, which makes it super easy to use, but it definitely is by far the thinnest of all of them. It really is quite runny. Daily Charms also has a nice little nozzle that's super easy to use. It may look wider than the McCart one, but the hole on it is super small. And this stuff is thick, really thick. It does not move, it'll stay where you put it. I thought I'd do a quick little test to see how much the gems would move while you're applying them. So I placed a little blob of each one on these practice tips. I took some shiny rocks and placed them in the center of all of those dollops and surrounded them with some caviar, bouillon, whatever you wanna call them beads. I love caviar beads, but they are a gigantic pain in the rear for something so small. So I was really looking for a gel that would be able to kind of hold them in place while I'm working. I let those sit pointed face down for about five to 10 minutes and here is what happened after that time had passed. The Daily Charm one literally did not budge at all and as you can see, the Kiara Sky one basically slid right off the nail. Opre and McCart performed very similarly. So it's looking like if you like to do very intricate designs or use a lot of beads, Kiara Sky might not be the best option, though I do really love their brush on applicator. Here I'm applying some bling into the Daily Charm Crystal Gel. 
and it is super easy it's just like drop and go and you just forget about it and it's fine i could have probably had a coffee break and came back and it would have been right where i left it trying to do the same thing with the kiara sky one was another story i was chasing the beads all around the nail and all the gel kind of started to drop and pool on the sides and i thought it was because i didn't buff the nail before applying it so i did go back in and buff it and try again but the same thing kept happening when i put enough gel that i thought i needed to keep the stone secure everything was slipping when i put a thinner amount it felt like the gems would just pop off because it was such a thin layer I decided to just give that up and instead I applied the gems in clusters, flash curing between each one. My experience working with the Apre one and the McCart one was very similar. The one on the left is Apre and the one on the right is McCart. I did have to do some readjusting for the both of them, but not too much. Just a quick double check before I put them on the lamp and sometimes the beads would move out of position, but they both overall felt good to work with. I do prefer the applicator on the McCart one, but I did find it was a little bit runnier than the Apre one. It could have just been that the design was more complicated, but I definitely felt like I had to shift more around while doing the McCart nail. It's been a week since I applied these puppies, and I actually haven't lost a single gem or bead on any of them. So, so far so good, but really it's mostly how you apply your rhinestone gel and not which one you use. You can also use builder gel to apply your rhinestones, but it is a little bit more awkward to work with because some of these have a much easier applicator and depending on the consistency of your builder gel, it might be just you chasing your rhinestones all around your nail. Also, some builder gels can get really pricey, so I wouldn't exactly want to waste any product on applying my rhinestones. I would say the Daily Charm one is best all around, except it probably isn't worth the price for most people. I think the McCart rhinestone glue is the best all around. It is the most affordable, it has a huge tube, I love the tube applicators, and it is the most accessible because you can get it on Amazon. Although it's a little runny, it's not really that big of an issue, especially if you're not doing super intricate bling designs like I did today. Kiara Sky's brush on applicator is really nice to work with actually. It feels super easy to apply, but at the end of the day, with the amount you need to apply to actually make sure the gems are on securely, it becomes really runny and awkward to work with. It would also be fine if you like smaller gems because they definitely don't need as much gel as what I needed today. Although less runny than Kiara Sky, I would say the Apre one is probably the worst all around. The Apre one is so similar to the McCart one that I would just go with McCart. It has no applicator, so it is the most awkward to apply, and it's pretty much the same viscosity as the McCart one, but the McCart one is cheaper, you get more, and it has a nicer applicator. Overall, I don't think any of these rhinestone glues are bad, I just think it depends what you're doing with them. The Daily Charm one is definitely best for those that like to wear large charms or ones that have pointed backs because I think the other ones would make it really awkward to apply charms like that because of their consistencies, whereas the Daily Charm one pretty much holds it exactly where you put it. But if you were doing something like a full bling nail or using crystal pixies or something, it would be so much easier to use the Kiara Sky one. All in all, all options do a fine job of adhering your gems to your nails, so there's no worries there. That's it for today's video, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like it if you liked it and subscribe if you want to hang out with me again. rhinestones with it's like pixel